And this video is meant to help explain the Annotated Bibliography Project. An Annotated Bibliography is an in-depth examination of one issue related to the acquisition of a new language or culture. It, it's an exploration of this particular aspect of research. So you summarize existing research and point to future research to the existing gaps that you find. Once you pick your topic, you find at least 15 peer-reviewed sources pertaining to the topic. You have another video on finding reliable sources. And you summarize these articles as described below. Now, your work has to follow APA 6th edition conventions, meaning formatting, citations, and references. Different possible topics are outlined below. Once you pick your topic, you create a thread on the discussion board, right here, and you post your cho chosen topic. On that same thread, you post the link to the Google Doc you create to organize articles. How you want to create your Google Doc is up to you, but this is a suggested format. You put your last name as the title of the page, and you make sure you share it with me, mwhite1 at udayton.edu. Put your topic, then the APA 6th edition citation, a link to the article. I highly suggest either printing to drive or saving the PDF to your computer and then putting the link here so it keeps you nice and organized. Include a summary of the article. You can bullet your summary, however you want to format it for your organization purposes. Uh, put any direct quotes in quotations in the page number in case you want to use them in your write-up. And then write a little summary as to how it connects to your overall topic. Over the next few weeks, you'll have to do three articles every couple of days as per the course schedule. Some potential topics include grammar instruction, grammar correction, explicit and implicit grammar teaching, the role of the non-native English speaking teacher, what variety of English should we teach, teaching pronunciation, articulation and voice disorders, language and power, bilingual education, this can be very subdivided, uh, communicative language teaching, the use of the first language in language teaching, common core in English language learners, and standardized assessments in English language learners. Once it comes time for your write-up, you're going to write a one-page introduction to the topic. Tell us why it's relevant to our studies in the course and why you decide to learn more about it. You need to include the annotation of 15 sources, so you should organize it with the summary or the citation first, then a summary. And in the summary, you need to tell us how it connects to the overarching topic. You should not provide an extensive summary. It should be about a one lengthy paragraph of what occurs in the article and how it connects to your overall topic. How does it inform the field? Then write your conclusion. Tell us what you learned, how this research has helped you grow as a member of the field, and any gaps that you see that future researchers should look towards. You submit your rough draft on Isidore by Friday, February 12th at 11.59 p.m. I'll give you feedback and email it back to you, and then you'll submit your final draft by February 19th. In addition to your final draft, you also need to create a five-minute presentation. This will tell us about the purpose of the work and the sources you discovered, how it's helped you grow, and you should talk about the gaps in the literature. It's only a five-minute presentation. Don't focus on specific citations. Give us a broad overview of the larger picture you explored. Once you finish your presentation, by the 19th, you'll need to post it back on your original thread on the bibliography forum. The following week, you'll need to respond to the presentation of at least three of your classmates, give feedback, ask questions, make comments. Now, how you create the presentation is up to you. You can videotape yourself giving the presentation, you can create a screencast using Screencast-O-Matic or Jing, like I'm doing here, where you record your desktop and you record your voice. Uh, you can make a short movie. It's really up to you. I recommend the screencast because it would allow us to see a PowerPoint that you create and have your voice. You'll be assessed on the following rubric. So your annotated bibliography needs to be organized. You need to include a comprehensive review of the existing literature, your conclusion, your presentation, your responses to your classmate, that you included all aspects of the task, that overall you took a professional voice in your paper, and your grammar and spelling was um, consistently correct. Let me know if you have any questions on the project as you begin working.